I remember when I was first time viewing this faith, I started reading the Word of God or the Holy Bible, and it was very overwhelming. And I didn't even know the meaning of context or anything at that time, but I was so eager to learn more and read. And that's why in today's video, I want to share with you all the importance of reading Bible and some of the tips on how I read my Bible, specifically five main tips which I will share with you all today that will help you to read your Bible in depth. So are you all ready? Let's get started. Hey you all and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for watching. My name is Ragini. I do upload faith-based videos twice a week. So if you're one of those who loves hearing the word of God, do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel. That way you will get notified on time. So in today's video, I want to share with you all five main tips and ideas of reading the word of God, which will help you to grow more closer and intimately with God through his word. The book of John chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Right? So as a believer, as a Christian, it is very important for us every single day to read the Word of God because it's God Himself speaking to us through His Word. In other words, the Holy Bible is the Scriptures or the Word of God, right? Inspired by the Holy Spirit. So the main reason behind reading the Word of God is because we want to know His nature, His character, what He's done before, what He's still doing now, and what is He going to do in the future. And every time we read the Bible, we always first have to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to speak to us and to lead us into all the truth right because he's our guide our helper and our teacher so i've prepared my notes over here on my laptop and i'm going to read from here and share with you in depth so reading the bible can be a rewarding experience but it can also be daunting especially if you are new to it right new believers new in your faith growing still trying to learn and know the word of god here are some tips on how to approach reading the bible Number one, choose a translation. Now we all know that there are so many different types of the Holy Bibles or translations, but the one which I prefer to use is King James Bible version. I have a whole Bible review about the Bible which I use, which I'll link it up here as well as down below in the comment section or also in the description box. So make sure you check that out. There are different uh, types of Bibles which I have used and I also want to dig deep into the types of the Bible which I have used and which helped me the most to understand more easily. So the very first Bible I used was this Bible. And this is a pure black leather Bible. It is Holy Bible, King James Version. I got this from Amazon when I was very new in my faith and still looking for the Bible to read. This is the Bible I got. And no doubt this Bible is my first Bible. Um, and there's so many notes and highlights and things I have done in here. But the only thing is because it's not a study Bible, it did not have in-depth um, context. There were all just verses but there was no context so it was somehow difficult for me to understand and I would interpret the Word of God the way I understood it. That can be dangerous because the Word of God should be read according to the help of the Holy Spirit, yes, and also in its context. So this is the Bible um, which I first used and I'm not saying it's bad but it doesn't have any in-depth information or context so I wouldn't recommend this one. However, the second Bible which I used is CSB Version Bible. So CSB is Christian Study Bible. Now the study Bibles are very um, nice and easier to understand because it does have in-depth context and information about specific books of the Bibles as well as profiles. So I like this Bible a lot and the study Bible contains of more features like maps, concordances, presentation page, column text as well as ribbon marker, full color maps. Um, essential truths, articles from leading Bibles. You can get this Bible on Amazon once again. I do not have a physical Bible. I just have a box because I gave it to my brother in Africa. Praise God. This is how it looks though. It is brown leather, plain brown leather book. And now what I'm going to share with you is the last Bible which I got a few years ago and I highly recommend you all to get this Bible. This is called King James Study Bible by Thomas Nelson. Once again, I got this from Amazon and you can also check out in your local uh, bookstores like uh, Barnes and Nobles or something like that. But I got this from Amazon and this is a study Bible. It is very thick as well as heavy, but it's totally worth it because it does have 
in-depth resources so when you are reading your bible you don't need your laptop or your phone or even commentary sometimes because it does have everything in here i won't talk much about this but i will definitely make sure to put the link up here as well as down below in the comment section so please if you can watch that video so these are the three bibles i have used the very first one was this one wasn't a study bible the second one was a study bible but the best one is this third one so that was point number one choose your translation and also read the bible in its context number two start with a plan now most of the times it can be difficult where to start from and where to end right so the bible reading plan will help you and what are your goals? Are you uh, trying to understand more about what Jesus did, his miracles, when he came, what he said? Then this Bible plan, which I'm going to share with you all about in a minute, will have three different plans. You can read the Bible daily, weekly, or daily or weekly, both together, to read the entire Bible in a year. I've also made another video about Bible reading plans, which I'm also going to link up here and in the description below. So make sure you also check that out. That is in depth, showing you the three types of different Bible reading plans, which will help you to achieve your goal. You can print out this as well. I'm going to link it down below. Um, and it's a free resource from one of the websites. So you can also check that out, but make sure to watch the video of this Bible plan Bible reading plan which will help you to understand in depth and now we'll jump into point three which is taking notes so when you're reading your Bible it is very important to take notes for that uh, reason I do use sticky notes When the Holy Spirit is leading you to something or about certain story or words or character you can write away write it down and stick it on that page or that certain book you're reading I like using sticky notes but also I do have two different journal books where in one of my journal books, I write my life experiences and prayers. The other one, I do memorize the verses. These things are very important because memorizing the word of God is also very, very beneficial for us. The book of Psalms talks about it. So I highly encourage you all to do that. By the way, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, make sure to do that so you will get notified on time because I will be coming up with more videos related to how to memorize the Bible verses. You can use the sticky notes as well as the journal uh, books as well to write down the notes, questions, prayers, concerns you have, right? And later on, you can dig deep into videos or commentaries or anything which um, helps you to understand in depth about certain queries that you have about certain passage or worse. Number four, understanding the Bible in its context. Once again, um, the Bible can be difficult to understand at times. So take your time and read for understanding. Don't rush through it or skip over parts that you don't understand. Use study aids such as commentaries or study guides to help you understand difficult passages. So the examples of understanding the Bible in its context can be used through different um, commentaries. Now you can get physical commentary books or you can go online and search for commentaries. My favorite one is Enduring Word as well as Bible Ref and also Bible Project. So you guys can check those out in your own time and those are very beneficial as well. If you don't understand any specific character or words in depth, the last step I want to share with you all is apply what you learn because to read anybody can read, but applying it in your life can be difficult. But with the help of the Holy Spirit, nothing is impossible. Amen. So the Bible is not just a book to be read but a book to be lived. That's why the word of God says it's a living word of God is sharper than any double-edged sword. Amen. So apply what you learn to your daily life and strive to live in accordance with the teachings of the Bible. Example, study Bible have great context and application and always pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you to be a doer of the word, not only a hearer of the word. We all are humans, we all fall short, but the grace of God lifts us up and the, through the help of the Holy Spirit, we all try and live and are saved. So I want to encourage you all to dig deep into your Bible and spend time with the Lord because the Word of God is God Himself speaking to us. Now, if you're a new believer or uh, you are still stepping into reading the Bible for the first time, uh, I just want to tell you that don't rush, don't get overwhelmed. Pray always first, ask the Holy Spirit to guide you and help you and follow the steps slowly and uh, by His grace you will understand in depth. So remember that reading the Bible is a journey, 
okay and it takes time and effort to understand it fully don't be discouraged if you don't understand everything at first because we all have walked through that path thank you so much for watching this video i will see you all in my next one until then you guys take care and god bless you all always stay rooted in christ bye